I thought he was going to kill me. I mean, I really thought he was going to kill me. I thought that was their plan. One moment, Greg Barrett was bent over to get a drink from a refrigerator. The next, a gun was shoved in his back. I turned and I looked at him and he had a gun and he hit me in the head with the gun twice and split my head open. This picture shows his serious injuries, left bloodied from a laceration, his nose broken, and he suffered a concussion. Not only was Greg pistol whipped, a second intruder punched him up to 10 times. Then they stole about $3,000. And the other one was standing right here, pointing a gun at my head, and the other one was in here and he kept punching me. That's when he was punching me. Where's the rest of the money? You know? Greg told me at that point, he said a prayer to himself. I said, God, I'm, I don't know if it's time for me to go, but I just, in case you don't know, I'm not ready to go yet. The owner was led around at gunpoint, told to well, unplug the surveillance system, but Greg managed here, to kick open a door and, and break free door, from the gunman. I pushed the other guy's arm down and ran out the front door. Akron police believe the same suspects attacked the owner of Long's Auto House around 8 a.m. yesterday. The victim also pistol whipped in the face five times. Blood left on the floor, money stolen from the owner's pockets. Back at Bel Air Motors, Greg says he's taking new precautions. I've never wanted a gun. You know, I have a gun now. And Greg says none of his employees work alone now. His prayer now, his violent attackers face justice. Let's get them caught. Yeah, let's, I mean, before they kill somebody.